Uh, our goal is to clear the wait list. 23,000 children in Ontario with autism have been denied service by their Ontario government. That's three out of four children with autism in this province. The best way uh, to clear the wait list and to get every child who uh, deserves support, um, the support that they need, is to double our investment in diagnostic hubs, which is what we're doing so that we can get a diagnosis quicker. And then secondly is to ensure that we empower parents uh, to make the choices they need for their child, whether that is a technological aid, such as an iPad or something more, or it's respite care uh, that uh, children are receiving from a camp, or caregiver training, which is what we heard about a lot today, or behavioral therapy. So uh, we're committed to this plan. It is a plan that has been uh, seven months in the making based on a lot of consultation uh, and based on the fact that the previous Liberal government left the uh, system bankrupt. You've got you've met two uh, parents today, and they said even if I get it right when I left the house, but even they were saying though that they would rather wait in line. The problem with that is uh, I understand the NDP want to uh, tell them that it would be better to wait in line, but the problem with what we have seen and the, this is data driven is uh, it would take. Uh, years, an indefinite amount of time for children to get off the wait list given the, the, the situation that we inherited. Uh, I want to put this into perspective. Uh, this is a $321 million program. I have in, uh, increased the investment from $256 million to $321 million. And uh, even with that, and then and an emergency injection of $100 million to keep the system running, we were still only supporting 25% of the children. That's wrong. It's unconscionable. It, was unfair, inequitable, and it was unsustainable. So the best way to move forward is uh, to support parents and to clear the wait list, which is what we're doing. And I do appreciate where the parents are coming from, but at the end of the day, I could not look at myself in the mirror understanding that their Ontario government was denying three quarters of the children with autism services and that those who were on the wait list would never, ever get off. Given the amount that though that some of them are getting up to $5,000 isn't this like and forgive me I don't mean to say where we're at so forgive me on that but it's I had this quote the whole day so I got to say it but isn't that similar to curing homelessness by giving every homeless person two dollars it's unfortunate that people want to make unfair comparisons because I could send back this comparison what 25 percent of the children do I allow to eat and what 75 do I allow to starve so I don't think these comparisons are helpful in this debate I don't think that they're fair comparisons what we're doing is making sure that every single child with autism in the province of Ontario has a fighting chance and that's why we are delivering up to hundred and forty thousand uh, dollars per child uh, up to the age of 18 for parents to decide how to best support their children and that could be through a technological aid it could be through respite to care it could be for caregiver training and it could be for behavioral therapy we're going to empower parents to make the best choices for their child but I got to tell you the system that we inherited was broken and it was broke and so I had to make a tough decision but it ultimately is the right decision because right now we will clear the wait list in 18 months so that every single child that has autism in the province of Ontario will have a fighting chance forward right now only one in four do the only thing that I'm hearing though it's just the amount it's not that it's not helping but it's the amount is so if I can use the word trivial how long will it help you know, you can say that it will help, but the question is how long will it help? Well, what's trivial was the fact that the previous Liberal government ignored three out of four children who needed support. Uh, we are going to provide support. We have increased our investment from $256 million in a budget to $321 million. We had an emergency $100 million that's kept the program sustainable over a five-month period. If you can believe the system was bankrupt and uh, we needed to ensure that there was service uh, for these children right through the holidays uh, I was able to deliver that uh, we are uh, investing an historic amount of money in, into autism services across the province and now that we're doing that we need to make sure we level the playing field and ensure that every single child has a fighting chance to succeed with with you going to clear the waiting list so quickly is there enough qualified professionals in the system now to be able to treat these families properly that's why we're uh, creating more choice um, some families recognize that ABA and IBI works for their child. Others say it doesn't.
And so what we're doing is allowing them um, the opportunity uh, to invest in their child the best way they possibly can. I'm always happy to listen to parents. I'm always happy to meet with parents. But for the New Democrats to suggest that this plan will change is only providing false hope to parents and families across Ontario with children who have autism. We are committed to this plan as a government. I will implement this plan as the minister and this will be the plan moving forward. Um, my suggestion to the New Democrats is to stop playing politics uh, with these families and, and to stop providing false hope because at the end of the day this will be the program and this is the program that will allow 23,000 children who are right now being ignored uh, from their Ontario government to get off the wait list and to pr get provided with a level of support that they were not receiving previously. <laughs> what about the people when you've got up to $5,000 funding what happens when that runs out? Well, we have a lifetime budget of up to $140,000. Uh, we have Autism Ontario on contract to work with uh, the families uh, to navigate their childhood budget. There is a lot more flexibility here. Uh, the difference between uh, our plan and the, and the Liberal plan was we are at a direct fund model, so parents will get the money directly rather than have to go to direct service or direct fund. The other thing is we're allowing parents to choose between a variety of different options for their, their family rather than just behavioral supports that work for some of the families, but not for all.